Yeah, it's a cool looking game. I saw it ages ago and I've just had it on my wish list ever since. And I was like, well, now's the perfect time to check it out. I think. Oh, that's right, the library. Okay. This place up here blocked okay so maybe i have to feed the form back to the computer ah yes yes please error after all that it reads Sintracorp seal needed perhaps i should ask Sintra. i'll go back to my office and talk to her boy i hope i don't have to do that again My god, Ms. Bostor. That hairdo, though. Hello, hello. I think she's ready to go home. I think her shift is over. What was that? What is she doing? Is she licking her chops? It's you! <laughs> oh. What floor am I on? Where's my what floor? I think it was number five. Oh yes, because there's a new boy who just started. Hadn't you heard? I can tell you whatever you want to know about him. Oh no, there's no need, thank you. Oh, it's the end of a conversation. How delicious. Delicious indeed. Have you not brought more lunch boxes? But if he's gone mad, it'd be best to just lock him up and let her take care of that nut. Eh. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> a pleasure. My name is Rostov. I work on the fifth floor. Pleased to meet you. Did you hear? Well, I don't know. Hear what? Someone's written obscenities on the canteen whiteboard again. Hugo, I suppose. And that's it. She has nothing left to say. Well, she apparently works on this floor as well. What was I doing? Oh, right. I was going back to my computer. They're gone again? Oh, hey. It's old paper here. <gasps> oh, it's Kitty! Where's he got that boys? You got an illustration. That's her desk. Oh no, are you okay? Hello, Mr. Pasternak. She speaks. Hello. How are you? How are you getting on? Well, I'm getting by. Keyboard and the computers and that. The mouse click click is everything all right. Yes. Uh -huh. So you already know what your responsibilities are. Oh, uh, management of notary management of members. Uh -huh. What about Hugo? Hugo. I don't see him at his desk. Do you know where he is? He left a while ago. Why? Why? Nothing. Forget it. Hey. Oop. Yes. Anyone talk to you about her yet? Her? Yes. You already know. I don't. Of the... Which... <laughs> uh, no, no, that doesn't ring any bell. Well, you have to be very careful, Pestinet. You... you know something about this witch? Careful, she's everywhere. 
<laughs> no, I I have to lie about my job. I'm apparently hired as a witch hunter, even though I don't know the first thing about witch hunting. And then I, I've been told that I have to tell everyone here at Centricorp that my job is something else, anything else, just fib about it. <laughs> company is like an apple that fell from the tree past the What do you mean? It looks normal but on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. She is the worm that lives inside it, and if it catches you, if she catches you, you will become one of her children. What? It was definitely him dressed up as a frog. Well, well, hello, you two. Am I interrupting something? What are you up to in this hidden corner? Estenek, do you already have the goth club card? <laughs> goth club? Dessa loves all these weird things. Horror films, role-playing games, comic books. Hey, she even started a geek club called Video Club Mysterio. Hey. Careful, she might kidnap you and take you to the secret lair. There's only two members. Haha. <laughs> Aww. You didn't have to be like that. Now she's gone all shy. How strict, Spasinek. I see that you're still working. You're already adapting to the company. Yes, well, more or less. Hey, where are you in the archives? Just Oh, where are you in the archives just now? Spasinek, it's my birthday today. You totally just ignored me. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, workmate. This is... <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, just one of those tickles catches you sometimes. We're going to take a break later and have a bit of a party. What do you think? Well... We'll see if I'll still be here later. This work is very hard. Come on, man, cheer up. You have to stay. Everyone ends up staying. <laughs> no. No talkie. Okay. I'm tied up with managing data, Fastenek. You have a computer, go have fun with it. Now go play solitaire. Oh, Sintra? What's that voice? She's singing. That means like an invisible wall there. I can't see you. Maybe if I just select myself. Without Sentra, I can't access the information. Can I reply? No. I think I'll just leave. Before I leave, I have to find Sintra. You want me to walk into the dark? Ooh. Oh, hi! Sintra! I beg your pardon. What's Swing doing here? It's an application focused on rest and relaxation. Don't you want to try it? Me? No thanks. Maybe later. I wanted to talk to you about that book you wanted me to find. I found all the data and filled in a form R301. Excellent, Mr. Pasenek. To be able to access the library, you will need the Centricorp seal that I myself can provide you. The final form is now printing in your office. It will be available to collect once you log out of Centronet. Thank you. 
Um, confidential work. You told me earlier that my job was confidential, that I shouldn't say anything to anyone for my own safety. Correct, Mr. Placement. Discretion is one of our company's maxims. Some employees may be in league with the witch. So there are people here helping out the witch? Correct. It is entirely possible that she could be one of your co workers. It is advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you are hunting her. Let us see. Which is children. Hey, do you know anything about um, children of the witch? I'm sorry, I have no records of anything named witch's children. Why do you ask? Someone warned me about them. Hmm, the witch has been hiding in this company and spreading corruption for decades. Most of my predictions show that she is likely to have affected every person in this company to some degree. With particularly weak willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway. You should be careful, Mr. Benson. Uh, we've already submitted the form. We've already have the form with all the Hex and Home data. Please attend to the library and then find the book. Oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. Okay, let's exit then. Can I just try this one now? Ah, that's so fun! Okay, that was fine. Excellent. Okay, let's. Oh, hi. Nice. You moved really fast. Okay. Ooh. This. Memo. We remind all new employees that the weekly motivational talk with Colonel Dumont will begin at 11 a.m. Your presence is requested in meeting room C. Thank you. Motivational talk? At Centricorp, we believe in a holistic approach to employee engagement and take a proactive stance towards the empowerment of the social and collaborative qualities of our employees using motivational talk. Right. Got the R form, the form R301, and a seal. Is a medicine stick. Oh, it's got the seal on it now. Okay, cool. Precise. I wonder if I could ask her about that. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. Um. Where was the motivational talk supposed to be? Again, meeting room C, okay. Looks like poop. What is that? It's all shit. <laughs> it is. Okay. I don't understand a lot of these charts, but I say this company seems to have its up from there. See where I'm going now. <laughs> I 
Okay, so that's not happening yet. No meeting just yet. Um, library. Um, what's that number? Oh. Yes! Ding! That's creepy. Oh, a torch! Finally! Get a flashlight. You can equip and unequip with T and Y. Okay, this is very not good. And one pencil. There's a note which reads, flashlight is almost out of batteries, but still kind of works. Oh, that's not good. Got a red book. The pages are blank. The book is already but the pages are blank. Okay. Stand. I wouldn't look hard on wheels, I could push it easily. Where would I push it to? It's just, I thought it was something gruesome. It is not. <gasps> it's a wooden cart with an owl on it. It's got wheels. Okay. Where does the owl go? There's another person there. What's in this cabinet? There's a green book, but I can't take it out. The display cabinet is locked. But you can break the glass off. Huh? where we were. Okay, so that got smashed. Just need to be able to smash it with something. Perhaps the cart will do the trick. Ooh, we slid too far. Wait, can I just push the... Ah, okay. Now let's roll the cabinet. Yes. The green book. Yeah, three batteries. Oh, nice. Still with the button. Shall we push it? Not yet. Look at this picture. Okay, okay. So green, red, there's blue hiding behind the owl's face, and yellow. Hmm. Something. Hmm. What's the button do? Ah, crap. 
Push, 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 push. How much health did I lose? Uh... Well then. Let's see. Oh, hey, what's oh a yellow book? Yes. A yellow book. Do these have any look at the green covers, pages of print. And just in pages of print. Hmm. Ah, okay, there's numbers above each book stand as well. So let's go. Green's gonna go on 12. Oh, look at that. And use green there. Um, was on 13. No, oh, that's new. And yellow. Um, red went on to two. It's one. Two. blue book around here somewhere, I don't even know. Oh, there it is. You don't really know what number the blue book is on. Oh, the owl, oh, the owl moves when I move the trolley. Okay, cool. So what's that? Five, six, seven, eight. Does that not matter? Let's find out. Beautiful. Yeah. The letter it says, my friend, I would not trust any member of this company more so now as it slowly destroys itself. Anyone may be one of her children and there is no way to know. We three are all who can be trusted. Signed, A.M. Forgot about that. Fuck. Hiya. Well, in that case, we'll turn that off. I don't have anything to actually eat. Oh, yes, I do. Eat that. Oh, boy. So we can just step this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. There we go. And now I'll throw a pencil at it. One sheet of witch paper. Yeah, cool. Wasn't expecting that. The note, it says, With the dagger in the hands of the crow, I pray that this nightmare ends. Now I leave in your hands the report of his progress. Signed, A.N. you could not have sent worse news. You must hide as soon as possible and delete any record of our names. If she discovers our identities, we are lost. Signed, A.M. Sorry. 
glory. Oh, cool, a printer. Uh, yeah, printer. We got two batteries. A piece of old paper here. An owl holding a scroll. Illustration. Okay. Well. Well, let's just say it now. Papito. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This this thing is reading a book. It may be. Yes, it's the accent hammer. Should I take the book? No, she's reading it. Can I talk to her about it though? It's like a human body wrapped in a kind of chrysalis. It's sticky and it stinks. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take it. She's gonna be upset about that. Mr. Mummy, if you don't mind, I need to take this book. Please don't wake up. You got the hex and hammer. Last, I can take this damn book to Sintra and then get the hell out of here. Right. Let's just run. Oh. Hello? I cannot let you take the old man's favorite book. Oh no. Wait. No. Oh no, the door's blocked with spider webs. I can't get out. Shit! Can I make him explode the things? Oh no. My torch running out of battery? Damn it. Um, I need to get him on the other side of mine. Can you just eat the body? From this way, from this way, from this way. No, you were supposed to come the other way. Ah! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's what I gotta do. No, nope. oh shit. No, 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 no. Ouch, 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 ouch. Can I eat? Oh no, I don't have much. Eat a candy bar. No! No, 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 no! No, you cheeky friggin' spider. Come on, come on. Come this way, this way, right? This way, okay. Ah, why didn't it blow up? No, why won't it blow up? No? Oh shit, what am I gonna do now? Maybe he's heard enough and I can escape. Nope. 
What the? What do I do? Okay, um... No, I'm lost. I can just keep running forever. Stop pushing the damn carts. Can't you see my little ones get scared? Oh, I see. Let's upset him a bit. Okay, that got him. Okay, good, good, good. No, what? Ah, oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Another chocolate bar. Grateful I saved it. Let me look at it first before I start running. The Hammer of Witches, an extremely old book full of information how to find and destroy witches. Okay. See, there is. Okay. Oh, ee 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 okay, I understand. Okay. Oh shit, no no, hurry, 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 go! I need to make them explode. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh, that's right, he goes this way. Okay, I need him to come this way. I need to loop back. Nope, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. No, push the thing, push the thing. No, it wasn't fast enough. Ah, What is this?
Okay, so he's down that way. Damn it. I need to make it explode. While he's standing on top of it. There. Okay, cool. We can just continue to do that. We will be okay. more can I do with that? We don't need a candy bar, we'll keep going. We can do this, we can do this. Jesus. That was so stressful. flashlight right now. I'll keep it off so I don't waste the battery. <laughs> Good job, Ricky. You might just make management material. Oh, maybe one day. My goodness, that was stressful. You need to go to bed before you fall asleep in your chair? No worries. Thank you for popping in. It was good to see you. Rest well and I'll see you later. Actually, what food do I have? Actually, I've got some noodles. Maybe I could... Oh no, it's fine. I won't waste it. Where is she going? Here's the book. Here's Texan now. Excellent work, Mr. Pasternak. No, no. No more Mr. Pasternak. Is something wrong? Look, Sintra. I've just come face to face with a kind of mechanized man spider that was throwing bombs with eyes at me, and there was a mummy in the dark, and, 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 well, this isn't for me. I'm not going to fit in here. I thought this was going to be a normal office job, checking papers and going out for coffee at mid-morning. understand how you feel, Mr. Patterson. We know that this is not an easy task, and that you have a special responsibility within the company. On behalf of Centricorp, I would like to convey a full confidence in your capability. I would also like to inform you that I personally see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. Ah, thank you very much. But remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Centricorp. As a reward for your work, you will receive a bonus of 1,000 credits, which will I will transfer to your account. Remember, coffee is 200 credit from the coffee machine. 
So that's basically five coffees. She gave me a bonus of five coffees. And he's excited about that. If you like, let's have a look at the contents of this book. Interesting. Reading completed. This is a book from the 15th century which was created to identify and haunt witches. As the language has changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. First, where to find a witch? Witches make their lairs in places which have a deep meaning or a bond to their lives. Although their hiding places are often separated from urban centres, thanks to their human appearance, they can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. Second, how to recognise a witch. Witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil. They transform and manipulate men, steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes or followers. Among them are the so-called familiar spirits, companion animals that carry out their orders. Any woman can be a witch since one of their powers is transmigration, the ability to swap bodies with another. And finally, how to kill a witch. Although fire is the most effective method to eradicate the majority of witches, there are tales of exceptionally powerful witches throughout history who have proven to be immune to flames. According to my records, in fact, our witches burned alive several decades ago. However, her curse has continued to spread throughout the company. According to the book, the only way to put an end... Oh, pardon me. One of the most powerful witches is to use a special ritual dagger, called a thane. This weapon of great power can also have a deterrent effect, warding witches away from the real world. It all sounds like a fairy tale. What do you mean? Well, everybody knows witches don't exist, and if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. They're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, you want me to go question women all over the company and try stabbing them with a knife? I'm pretty sure that would also kill people who aren't witches. Brian is a smart fellow. We are really clear that something strange happens in this company, but I doubt very much that the problem will be solved by using a witch hunting guidebook from 500 years ago. Can't you see that doesn't make any sense? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to put my life on the line for this. Again, I'll just go to my office. And I'll sit on my chair, and I won't disturb anyone. You're sitting in your office right now. She's right. What the? What was that? Oh, there is an event planned. Leave the session as soon as possible. Oh, that's right. Brian, remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Wait, did you call me Brian? Hey. <laughs> you, what are you still doing here? Hey, hey. Oh, mon dieu, get your ass to the meeting room. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow. What are you? We are the lowest of the low. Jesus Christ. That's why there was horse shit in here before. I doubt it. What are you? We're garbage. My horse's ass smells better than you do. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Oh shit. What should you be? The best. <laughs> what? The best of the best. And how are you going to achieve this? With our work. I don't want your dirty work. What else do you have? A blood? Let's see, Mr. Hugo, come closer. Hugo, what are you? I am the lowest of the low. Well, I didn't know the lowest smelled like a sewer. It's because I'm garbage. That describes you better, but what should you be? The best. What? 
The best of the best. I see. And how do you intend to achieve this? With my work. But you're a bum, Mr. Hugo. What else do you have? With my blood. Alright, alright, alright. You can go back to your place. Today I want to talk to you about something very important. Legend that you all know. I want to tell you about the witch. The witch is among us, comrades, and she has the form of a woman. I don't consider myself sexist. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> But it's like that. It's a fact. It could be that lady you chat with about the weather in the elevator. Girl you drink coffee with, lend pens to, or maybe you sent her a pack in trip. But Colonel, everyone knows witches aren't real. Oh yeah? Yeah? Let me tell you something that happened to me a few weeks ago. Dada and I were in the canteen chatting with friends, having a snack. They were our well-earned 15 minutes of breakfast. When I realized... I was more than half an hour since I, we had come down. We had to get back to our job as soon as possible. We don't get paid for drinking coffee. We all crowded into the elevator and hammered the button to our floor, hoping that evil machine would move faster. The elevator went up to our floor at a turtle's pace, and just before the doors opened, well now, the elevator was blocked. No matter how hard we pushed it, the doors wouldn't open. I tried in vain to calm us all down. These setbacks are normal. It was only a matter of time before it worked again. But the truth was, I didn't succeed. My desire to get out of there and reach my destination grew exponentially every second. Not just me, I saw Dada suffer from the same exacerbated anguish. Something ran up my spine. Silky lips, a woman's lips, kissed me on the cheek. And in that very moment, the lights went out. Without light, people exploded into chaos. Everybody started shouting, pushing, shoving, hammering on the doors to get out. And then we heard a sound. Like a razor blade cutting through an eyeball. That sharp sound went through my entire nervous system. At that moment, we all knew that death had come to take us away. That she, the witch, was among us. Among us! Around me, I began to hear the cries of pain from my companions. It was a slaughterhouse. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. On you, Popcorn, I cried. Then a miracle happened. The doors opened and let heavenly light from my floor enter. This caused Dada to awaken from the trance, and, like an unconscious spark, he took a great leap out of the elevator and escaped from that nightmare. A great sigh of relief came from our lungs. We were safe. But just before the door closed, covering up that whole massacre, icy lips hissed their way up my spine again. This time to my ears, and they whispered three words to me. Three words I remember all my life. Work, work, work. What did she say to me? <coughs> I hope you learn not to loiter in the canteen, or you know what's waiting for you. All right, all right, all right. You lot are looking good today. Now then, I think we have a new recruit. Yeah, yeah you. What's your name, boy? Um, hi, my name is Bastonet. Kid, do you see this horse? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. His name is Dada, and he replaces all my virile impotence. I don't have to prove anything when I'm on death. I am superior being. I am shallow pitch. Dude, you know why everyone in that elevator died? Because he had his horse in there and it panicked when the lights went out. I was no witch. But you though, down there, you're nobody. If you don't make yourself noticed, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't come close. Drop that briefcase. You don't need to hide behind any shields. Be a man, for God's sake. Well? Well? Your name? Uh, yes, my name is Pashtanek. Pashtanek. Did you know that your last name is of Jewish European origin? Ah, uh, no. It means parsnip. 
from this moment on, that will be your new name. Rude. Oi, I see you need motivation. Oh no, I just... I'm super motivated. Each failure, you lose 200 credits! What? Parsnip, <laughs> what are you? I'm trash. You lost 200 credits. What? Yeah, my host can't stand your stench. I'm garbage. But what should you be? Best. I didn't hear you right. The best of the best. And how do you intend to achieve this? Hmm, <laughs> buying... Oh, wait. Shit. Ah, Sniff, what else you got? My credits! Since you're new, I'll give you a motivational task for your initiation. You don't have to, really. It's alright, it's a favour I'm doing for you. You sure need a little push. What could it be you? Let Dada choose Colonel, like in the old days. A great idea, let Dada decide. Dada the horse. Let's see, Dada. On what motivational task can we send the pastor? <coughs> oh, what a great idea. Is this for real? Backbabu, Dada has been benevolent in giving you an easy task. Pastanak, you'll have to make a friend in the office. Hmm, but what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought I heard it must be someone from the fourth floor, from the high. Oh no. Splendid, in this way, synergies will be generated between floors. Dada, my friend, you're a genius. Is that clear to you, Parsnip? I have to make a friend in the high. Perfect. And that concludes today's motivational session. Now, get to work. I think I ran out of money and that's why I deliberately wanted to see what would happen if I ran out of cash. That's it. Oh, great. Hey, you left your briefcase in the conference room. That's your briefcase. Oh, thank you. I'm still a little out of sorts after everything that just happened. It's normal. It's best to play along. We'll get used to it. And I'm glad I did the horse trick. Colonel's mad as a hatter. Who knows where he would have sent you? Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there, and who knows, they might raise your salary, or they might even change your job. Hmm. We know cages in, uh, floor four. Well, I'll see you around. Yeah, cool. Who is sitting on the filing cabinet there? Hey, you're from the video floor. What's on here? Sachet of powdered coffee, it costs 125 credits. Should I buy it? Oh, how much cash do I have? Oh, I have 530. When did I get so much? Oh, I got a bonus. That's right. 100 credits. Nah. And a box. Oh, neat. Hello. She can't hear me. She's listening to music. I can't hear you. I'm listening to music. If you want to buy something, take it and leave the money. Okay, thanks. Again, I can't hear you. Sell supplies? Wait, I can sell supplies? Let's not do that. Hmm. Hello. No talking. Hello, Hugo. Colonel Demont and the witch. All that stuff Demont said about a witch. What was that all about? I knew you were going to ask me about that, Pasenek. I hope the colonel didn't freak you out. There's a legend that's been going around for a while now, but there's a witch in the company. I didn't tell you about it because I didn't want to scare you even more on your first day. I have to tell you, I've known who the witch is for a long time. I can feel her presence right now. She's very, very close to us. Where are you hiding the broom, Sosa? Sosa is not the witch. I guarantee it. Hey, seriously now, I know people say that the lower classes are more superstitious, but you wouldn't believe all that bullshit, would you? Me? Well, of course not. But of course not! How much paper do I have? I've only got one left. 
We should be all right. We'll go and hunt some more. What's left? Okay. Oh my goodness, people in here. Pasternak, are you a man of flesh or blood? I am a man of flesh. Oh, how disappointing. Still, I hope you've got some tricks up your sleeve. I don't have anything to say to her. I better talk to her later. Okay. Hello, how are you? I cannot. I said no. I'm sorry. No, but no. It's impossible. Right? A battery. Nothing here. I have a soft coat. Oh, hello, darling. How are you doing? How's your first day ever? Well, it could be better. I thought we looked a bit lost at the motivational meeting. If you want, I'll give you the details on what's what on our floor in no time. Leaving aside the zombies, you've got Sosa and Mappy. They're the best friends. But they only talk to each other. I think they're a couple, because I'm sure this level of social exclusion can't be normal. Anyway, you already know Sosa and Mappy, since you asked is even worse. And did you notice her face? There's something wrong with that girl's skin. Poor thing. Then we've got that lizard over there, Malone. I think she's listening to you. Good. Did you know she used to be my friend? Well, I'll tell you about it another time. You try not to get too close to her. Is Colonel Dumont also? You already have first-hand experience of him. He has delusions of grandeur. He actually has a minor position. I'd say he's actually beneath us. And Hugo? Oh, Hugo. You've named the worst of them all. He's a big, a jerk, a prankster with no grace. But he's been with the company the longest. He was there before I got here. And so, if you have any problems, he's the one who knows the company best. And he's always willing to help. Look at this. I was having trouble sleeping and Hugo gave me these pills. A miracle cure. Oh, those are some big bags under your eyes. Do you want the pills? Aww. No thanks. I sleep fine. Speaking of Hugo, by the way. It's his birthday, and we're throwing a surprise party in the canteen later. Oh, well, maybe I'll drop by. We'll see if I have time. What? He's your office mate. You have to go. And more importantly, you have to help us prepare everything. You can't run away, honey. You've been warned. Shit. Into the rubbish day. 30 credits! It's a financial article from May 1971 that someone has cut out. The swift and unexpected fluctuation of the shares of Syndicorp, one of the most reliable companies of the last decade, has called into question the world's major stock exchanges. Experts predict that if the situation continues until the end of the year, the international community could enter into an unprecedented recession. Hmm, that could be where the witch is about. Hello, how are you? Okay, alright, super good, hyper good, mega good, ultra good. He's good. Some giant noodles. And one sheet of witch paper, excellent. Hmm. We've been in sea, haven't we? That's right, this poop. Okay. Well, now we can see what's going on over here. Table several plastic candles. It says offerings may be made to the most holy AM. I'll make an offering. It's five credits. Sure. You spent five credits.
Holy Man Offering. I think that's enough. Interesting. Um. Hold on, how much does a coffee heal? Let's see. That's alright. Oh yeah, there's literally like a drink fountain, so I could like just heal myself up when I'm like yeah. Oh, but then there are times I'm full right now. Better save the rest of the food for when I need to if I'm so Let's save here. Let's try put a copy in my face of the witch paper. Yeah. Photocopied soul. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break and get a fresh drink of water, grab a snack, and then I'll be back in a quick jiffy.